Well, many would say it was quite the thorough process to arrive at the presumptive CJ, that is David Maraga. And someone who certainly was following this whole process is Apollo Mboya, an advocate of the High Court. Thank you for joining us. Does this come Thank as a surprise, this election? No, it's not a surprise. Right. It's, it's not a surprise. Um, the, the, the Judicial Service Commission went for integrity. That's what you can uh, you can you can d d suffer from uh, what 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 they have what they have done. That says a lot then about the others who didn't make it through. Um, yes and no. What is happening is that um, uh, in life we have issues, and um, even me I have a past. Um, what it shows that sometimes the past can come and haunt you. Right. And um, uh, some of them, that's what exactly what has happened. For David Maraga, if you follow his career, even uh, in Nakuru where he, he practiced, um, and several of, of, of our colleagues that we uh, have talked to even before he became a judge, is uh, impeccable. Impeccable. Yeah. Uh, well, the commission didn't want to uh, reveal how the others ranked, yes. um, but you have some inside information. Yes, I know. Would, I know how they rank. Share? Yes. They can, uh, they can either confirm or deny this. Justice Maraga was number one. Number two was uh, Justice Mokin Wanjala. Number three was um, Professor Makao Mutua. Number four was uh, Nzamba Kitonga. And number five was uh, um, Al Nashir Viso. Right. Yes, I can give you those top five. <laughs> All right, we'll wait for the confirmation <laughs> yeah. on that. <laughs> yes. But uh, going to the priority areas yes. and uh, what he should be focusing on, yes. should he be confirmed as mm. the Chief Justice, yes. uh, what are the priority areas in your view for David Maraga? Um, the priority areas, and I, you could see the mind of Judicial Service Commission, is that they want somebody who's going to continue with the foundation that Justice Mutunga has left. And um, uh, th that is very telling in the choice. Now, Justice Mutunga was to lay the bedrock, the foundation, and put the policies, that one non-existent. So that one, I can say, was uh, uh, kind of the, 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 the warehouse part of it. Right. Now we are moving into the retail part of it, which is now service delivery. Mm -hmm. And because Justice Maraga is um, a hands-on person, is the best suited to um, continue with what um, uh, Justice Mutunga has, has left. Well, he has spoken about the uh, attempt or intent, rather, mm. of improving service delivery to mm. Kenyans. Mm. Uh, but with the cartels that mm. are uh, known to be within the system, mm. um, what should his approach be, in your uh, opinion? It, yeah, if at all the cartels are there, they must be squeaking today because this is not a man who will pander to the, any cartel if at all they are there um he's a moralist first very very mo and you, you, you could see uh, the, um, the, uh, during the interview and um, um i expect um any any cartel who will be knocking on that door it will be a rude shock to them and he's definitely up up to the task he has just shown us he's, he's been uh, chairing the tribunal inquiring into another judge justice mutava uh, and he, he released the uh, the report mm -hmm. um, yesterday, uh, so you expect he is a, a no-nonsense person. He has demonstrated that even if you're a judicial officer, and he was chairing that tribunal, he will continue with the war on corruption that Justice Mutunga started. Well, everyone has said, uh, you know, that there's definitely nothing to. Uh, point out mm. and there's no reason that we should think that he won't go through but say he wouldn't then mm. what the process what's the process that would follow um, first of all I expect um, the legal profession to embrace Justice Maraga yes. uh, without any problem uh, I can tell you right from what I know as the, the, the immediate former chief executive of the Law Society of Kenya I participated also in the vetting process of judicial officers mm -hmm. and even the people who um, uh, uh, you know, tried to bring some issues um, on Justice Maraga. All these issues were actually thrown out in, in the vetting board because I represented the, the Law Society in yeah. most of the complaints that um, uh, were, were brought to the Law Society. Well, so he definitely has no dirt on him. But uh, mm. something that people are trying to discuss at the moment, mm. seeing that he is the presumptive CJ, is mm. his faith. Yes. And uh, wondering whether this will come in the way of him dispensing uh, justice and his duty as a staunch uh, SDA yeah uh, do you think this will come in the way I don't think so I think SDA uh, the fact that uh, that is his faith and uh, I have to admit I, I, I was born SDA too 
because um, uh, um, SDA brings with it a lot of discipline, mm. and I, I think it's a plus for for him. And I can say that because, as I told you, I was born SDA. I know yes. what SDA stands for. Yes. Uh, I think that m moral uprightness, um, which um, brings in that faith, will help him a lot, and has helped him throughout in his his career. Well, well a scenario was uh, brought about during the interview, and he was asked whether, mm. uh, if a petition comes up and it's on a Saturday yes. as an SDA, would he uh, yeah. uh, appear in court? Or, and he he said that would be very hard wouldn't this be an instance where it's coming in the way of no not at all you see we are dealing with um, election petition as if as it's an emergency we we should not deal with issues as an emergency there must be a way that somebody can organize themselves and find still uh, room yeah. to to prof profess their faith eh? or like for him it will be on a, on, on, on a Saturday mm. you have to organize yourself Everybody organizes themselves. Those people who, who, who also go, uh, who are Muslims, go to the mosque on Fridays, but again, every day in the morning and in the evening. Yeah. So they have managed to organize themselves in such a way that it's not an emergency. Oh, yeah. uh, just as a last uh, response here, you are confident that under David Maraga as a Chief Justice, we are on course? We are on course. Let's get on with it. All, uh, all what I, I cautioned the judge, don't do homecoming. <laughs> don't why not he is the chief justice for kenya and um, he can go and celebrate with his immediate family wherever he wants to celebrate whether it's in the rural area or here in nairobi but he should not do homecoming where politicians come but you've seen what uh, his people have already done from his home home area exactly they're already celebrating yes and they're waiting for the confirmation yes and and that's why i, I put that caution because <laughs> Um, you want to be the chief justice. You don't want to retreat into an ethnic cocoon. Right. Because that is a high office. Right. And it's almost the coronation in the legal profession. There is nothing after that in the, in the profession, after becoming the chief justice. And I can tell you for sure he's watching. Thank yeah. you for your opinion and your reactions. Thank and you. also the list of five, or at least top five, yeah. in this election process. Apollo yeah. Moya, the uh, advocate of the high court.